Hello, clean freaks and germaphobes. I'm glad that you're here today. I hope you're having a great day. Are your pillows discolored and have they gotten lumpy and gross? Well, then stay tuned because today I'm gonna to show you how to wash them. In this method, we're gonna use a washing machine and a dryer. And if you don't have either of those, I'll put a link to another video that has a method that doesn't require either. Now, what is the best way to keep your pillows clean and white and last longer? Well, that's what I'm gonna teach you today. First, I'm starting with this pillow. It's not one of those pillows that you can unzip and take the fill out. It is a shredded foam pillow. Um, it feels like memory foam. It's a Serta pillow. I don't know how old it is, but it's looking bad and it needs some help. But before I go into that, if you haven't already, I would love it if you hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos with cleaning tips and hacks. It means a lot to us. And as always, if you have any questions during the video, make sure that you leave them in the comments. We always try to answer all of our questions. First, I wanna talk about the kind of pillows there are. There are so many different types of pillows. And so what I recommend is that you check your label to see if it's machine washable. So this one, I looked at it before. It is machine washable and so I'm good. So you don't wanna throw in some nice wool pillow or other kind of pillow that might be damaged. I don't wanna have any ruined pillows on my conscience. Okay, first, how to wash your pillows. I'm just gonna show you how this works on my washing machine. I could use bedding. The bedding setting though won't do an extra spin. I'll just do a medium spin. So I'm gonna put it on the heavy duty one and then I'm gonna go here to extra high on the spin. I have warm water, heavy soil, and then I'm gonna push the extra rinse. Here's the pillow and I'm just gonna, I've got like one of these Arm & Hammer pods. That's what I'm gonna use. So put that in and then I'm just gonna use this OxyClean. I love OxyClean. Use it a lot for stains. Oh, those nasty stains. Ooh, there's some nice dirt. <sighs> like, look at the dirt just along the side. I hope this all comes out really well. This pillow is so dirty, I'm really curious if we're gonna need more than one wash. The nice thing about this method is you're gonna get inside the pillow, you're gonna get the foam inside. My other method that doesn't require a washing machine is great, but it doesn't get all the way inside. We're gonna start that and come back in two hours. So it's gonna be a longer wash. Now what about getting your pillows fluffy again? You don't want a lumpy pillow and so this is the method I use. So the first thing you wanna not do is hang them dry. If you have to hang it dry because you don't have a dryer or you don't wanna chance it, I'll tell you how to get lumps out that way but we're gonna focus on doing it with a dryer. And let's look at what we've got. Wow. Okay, you can see the foam through that. So, you know, I am super excited because look how good it looks. I don't see any of the pee stains at all. You know, this isn't just a method that you can use for pee stains, it's for any stains or just to freshen up your pillows, but you can tell how clumpy it is. I mean, look at the, look at the clumps there. And so if you just tried drying it outside, it would dry in this clumpy position because I have these dryer balls, so I'll put a link to them. Okay, I'm gonna put these inside. And then I'm gonna put the pillow in. The pillow got most of the, most of the water out. So there it is, and let's see, we're gonna do... And I put it on delicates because that was the only one that would let me do low temperature. And dry level, I'm gonna do a little bit more. Now here's what to do if you don't have a dryer. You can line dry it. You can hang it up to dry on a clothesline or outside, but the thing you need to do is move around the fluff every once in a while so that it just dries more evenly. So go ahead and just go outside and fluff the pillow, put it back on the line and let it dry. That way more of the inside is exposed to the air and dry more evenly. So if your pillow doesn't look good, even after everything you've done, it may be time to get a new pillow. I mean, this one, I don't know, it might be time. But if you decide you need a new pillow, after washing this it's just not coming clean enough or it's just flat now or whatever you don't like it we really recommend the coop brand pillows and i'm just going to tell you for a second why first they have adjustable fill so this one you can't take out fill unless you want to rip out 
the seam and sew it back up. But the coop pillows do have a zipper. They have a, in, a zipper on the outside cover and then they have one on the inside too, where you can actually remove foam or add foam in. And so you can adjust it to the perfect height for you. They also come with a half a pound of extra fill. So that means maybe you just got your pillow soaked and some of the foam is ruined. You can see what it looks like inside. You can see if there's mold and you can also use the half pound that they give you to add more to your pillow. And their Eden is the softest, more luxurious one. And the original is kind of more of a medium firm, but both of them have a five-year warranty. They're amazing. We'll also really love their mattress protectors. In a minute, I'll talk about their pillow protectors. I don't know if your pillow comes with a five-year warranty, but I really love that because I have gone through a lot of pillows and I found it totally worth it to spend a little bit more to get the high quality. If you're gonna wash and dry more than one pillow, like you wanna do all of them in the house, or you don't have a washing machine or a dryer and you want to use them, I highly recommend that you go to a laundromat because they have those really large capacity ones that you could fit in, you know, probably two or three pillows in one load and get them all done at once. I'm going to wash this. We're going to come back. I'm going to show you what it looks like at the end, but I always say this, but we're protector advocates. So you do all the work, you wash this, and if you want to keep the workload down and prevent problems like this, so you don't get the yellowing, you don't get the staining, you got to use a pillow protector. But I said, I was going to show you the coop pillow protector and here it is. Now this one is a totally different kind. It has a gusset, so it's a little bit wider and it is waterproof like the other one. It just is a softer, like kind of nice feel. It's also from Coop Home Goods. It has a warranty, but I just love this fabric. It's super soft and this is kind of thick. And even though it's waterproof, cause you can see this shiny inside, it's not noisy. Okay, my other one's made of nylon. I'm always looking for ways to reduce how much time I spend cleaning. To me, I'd much rather throw this in the wash than this. Now in my dryer, this only took like 30 minutes. So it was fast. I am just like, wow, I'm so impressed with it. <laughs> I'm so, I know it's funny, but I've been waiting for this. Kind of like you bake a cake and you can't wait to taste the first bite. I could not wait to get this out of the washing machine and the dryer and see how it turned out. But as you can see, it looks good. It's good for a lot more years. So guys, that's how you clean and maintain your pillows. You should do that when they need it probably like quarterly, every couple of months. Okay, now it's your turn. Did you try this method? Did it work for you? How do your pillows look? Let me know in the comments. We always like to hear from you. Thanks so much for watching guys. I hope this was helpful for you. Now, if you do have pee on your mattress or things that you need to get off of your mattress, we do have a whole video about mattresses. That's where this all started. We have over a million views. We've saved hundreds of mattresses and we really love to hear that someone used our method and it saved their bedding. Bedding is an investment and we want to keep it clean and so we hope that this helped you do that and we'll see you in the next video. It is fluffy, clean,